Hello, I'm Jomica, and welcome back to Biblos. This is episode four. Today, it's going to be a little bit of a different format. Uh, Riley and I are going to be working on this today. Um, I'm recording this, obviously, after it's already built. Um, yeah, it's just going to be a little first-person time-lapse of me and Riley building this mob farm. Uh, the main reason was to get um, gunpowder and other mob drops that we need. Mainly it's the gunpowder for rockets and that kind of stuff so we can fly around. Um, but before we get into that, I'm going to head over to our new desert. Uh, last episode I said there was... that ha we had a sign that was kind of letting everyone know that it was our area and then that didn't really lead anywhere. Um, but Riley showed me what it was, and yeah, now I know. So I'm gonna head over there real quick. It is basically a desert biome uh, that he is working on turning into like a desert port. And there's also a village nearby, which is nice. We can bring some villagers back over, maybe do a villager breeder if that works right now. Mm. I think iron farms are working, except there's ghost iron golems that end up breaking the farm. So that's something we'll have to mess with in the future, um, but it is definitely something I want to get done so we can have some sort of source of iron. Alright, well, I basically missed that. No point in doing it now. I'll just hit the wall and kill myself. So yeah, the city of Anzu. And this is something Riley started. And yeah, this is going to be the port area here. Goes all the way around. And then it's going to be like, I don't know what you call it, just kind of a city. Uh, here's all the, the buildings that he started. Looks like an overgrown sort of city. I'm uh, not really sure what it's going to be. It's just going to be a big kind of port town city area. So that is what this is. And I guess he had a bunch of sand. He turned a lot of it into sandstone. And then he ended up losing a shulker box full of sand that he mined. So that was, I think, originally going to be for the Guardian Farm. I'm not sure... Um, but that's gone. So, yeah, maybe next episode I will collect some sand. I actually did today get some. Um, but we can try to use that for the Guardian Farm, so how far we get with that. I think it's just one shelter box full. But yeah, I'm going to head back to the base, and then I'll let you guys go ahead and watch the time lapse of me and Riley building the mob farm. And I'll join you back when that's done. You know, I said I would join you back when we were done uh, after the time lapse, but I want to take this time to get some input on the channel and the series. Um, basically, I want to know how, what I can do to make things better, more enjoyable for you guys to watch. Uh, I mean, I guess if you guys want to comment in the comments, let me know or let me know on Discord. Either way, I'm easy to reach, but... I guess first question is, what are some things you like that I'm doing now uh, so I can make sure I continue to do those things and maybe even improve upon those? Uh, next question is, what are some things that I can do to be improved? I guess I kind of asked that in my last question, sort of in a way, uh, but I just want to call it out as a specific question so people know. Uh, another question is, are there any other games that you'd like to see? Um, I kind of like strategy type games uh, you could check my channel on previous episodes I've done from different gameplays and I guess figure out the types of games that I like to play and do series on I do play Fortnite um, but I feel like that's kind of an oversaturated market and I'm not that great so it wouldn't really make for good footage for you guys to watch It'd just be another normal person dying I mean that's kind of what 
my Minecraft series is too, but yeah, I feel like that's a little bit different and can be done in different ways. People play it differently and Fortnite, the only interesting content I really find is people who are actually really good and I could never be that good. So that's why I watch them. Um, next question I have is I'm starting to think about doing some base tours of other bases on Byblos. Um, I guess the question related to that is how often would you like to see those? And if you'd like me to tour your base and you are on the Biblos server, let me know. And we can either do something where I follow you around and you kind of explain everything. Or if you don't want to be in the video, uh, you can tell me everything beforehand, things that you want to be kind of showcased. Um, and you can tell me all about your base before and I can do kind of the tour. Uh, I'm fine with either one. I really just want to show off other people's builds to people who wouldn't normally see it, who aren't on the server. For the few people that do watch my videos that aren't on the server, they can see what other builds are out there. And I don't want to miss those types of things. So yeah, we can do it together or we can do it separately and I'll just do all the talking and kind of the showing of everything. Um, so yeah, best ways to let me know those answers are in the comments or on Discord. The link to my personal Discord is below, or you can join the, not Biblos, um, but the, the whole network of the Tesseract network, which is what Biblos is a part of. Uh, you can join that and try to join the server that way if you want to do that. Um, I guess some specific Biblos things that I wanted to ask, at least for this series, is should I do more content with Riley and Cringe? Um, like with them in the video, I could talk to them, see if they want to do it. Um, if that's something you guys like to see, I know today's did have Riley in it, but it's just a quick little time lapse of us building. Uh, he's not talking. We're not really doing things together other than you kind of see him on my screen real quick and that's it. Uh, it'll be a little harder to coordinate and edit, but if that's something you guys would like to see, I could try to make it happen. Um, another Biblo specific thing is, are there any farms or builds that you'd like to see? Uh, I have plans for other new builds. Riley has plans for builds he wants to do. I'm not sure about Cringe. He's been kind of gone lately doing stuff, working, all that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, if you guys don't have anything, that's fine. I can fill it in with things I want to build. But if there's something that everyone wants to see, we can start on that earlier. Um, so yeah, I guess that's all the questions I really had. Uh, basically, yeah, again, I just am trying to make better videos and want to know what you guys think I can do to improve upon them, to make them more enjoyable to watch and keep you guys coming back. Because I really like making videos. I don't always know what I should be doing. So I just kind of do it. And my philosophy has always been, I'll just record, kind of put it together, and then just kind of focus on doing another video because if I make it too difficult and people aren't really watching, then I'm just gonna lose interest and end up stop doing it. So I just kind of make it as easy as I can for myself. But if I know people are liking what I'm doing and it gets a little bit more complicated, on my end, I'll still do that as long as I know people enjoy what I'm doing. It's kind of when I'm doing these complicated things and I don't know if people like it or not. I'm just going to be like, well, this is getting too hard. I'll just kind of stop doing it. And then I eventually get burnt out and I stop for six months like I did last time. Um, and if you want to help me out, uh, the best ways to do that is to like the videos that you guys like so I know that you guys like this video. You don't have to like them all just because, I mean, that wouldn't, that kind of defeats the purpose. Uh, another way to do that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, uh, please do subscribe. I think that's a good way to kind of keep me motivated as people are coming, they're watching the videos, they like it, and they want to see more from me. Um, another thing you can do is share videos with your friends if you think they might like the content. Again, don't just be sharing it with your friends. Just 
to share it and get me more views. I don't want the views unless people are enjoying what they're watching. So yeah, I guess that's basically it. Um, again, I want to make things better for you guys so I can continue to do this and have more fun doing it. Um, yeah, and I guess that's it. We're going to do a quick little music thing. I think there's only a few minutes left on this time lapse. And then I'll come back and kind of finish off the episode. So thank you for watching me and listening to me ramble on. And enjoy the rest of the episode. been up here in the AFK platform for about an hour and 15 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. I haven't quite figured out the timings of it because when I turn it on sometimes it'll work and be in sync and then other times it will be out of sync. Um, but this one I think stayed in sync the entire time. So let's go ahead and go down here. This is a little tiny item collection. I don't think it would fill up, but we'll take a look. So this is an hour's worth. And we got three, four, four and a half stacks of gunpowder. So that's good. I hear a witch, which does cause some problems. Um, yeah, the water gets messed up and they land at the right time they'll land in the water and they won't die right away and yeah there's only one so that's not bad we'll kill you should be almost dead one more there we go and yeah I think that's a success so now we have a supply of gunpowder and I'll go ahead and take that and put it in the base 
I guess I'll take the redstone too. Yeah, the rest I don't really need too bad right now. So I'll just leave it in there. And I think that's going to do it for today's episode. A little different format. Um, if you guys liked it and want to see more of that, I can do that in the future. I do have a second alternate account that's in spectator mode permanently. So I can film, like, for this one, I could have just put it facing, like, down, kind of towards the build. You can get the whole thing in camera that way. I may do that for another future episode, but this one wasn't quite ready yet, and I wasn't sure exactly what we are going to do beforehand. A little bit of bad planning on my part, but that's okay. Just, yeah, let me know if you liked this format or kind of, like, previous episodes format and I can maybe do some more of either one so yeah if you like the video be sure to hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed already uh, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes and thank you for joining me I'll see you guys next time